Let's talk about importing your transactions from Amazon. Now, whether you're using the Amazon seller spreadsheet or the Amazon import add-on spreadsheet, uh, this video is gonna walk you through exactly how to import in those CSVs from Amazon. In the example here in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Amazon import add-on to do that copy and pasting. Um, and show you the example, but know that whether you're using the Amazon seller spreadsheet or the Amazon import add-on, everything is gonna work exactly the same. You're just looking at a different type of monthly summary tab, but what is gonna populate and get imported is the same no matter which spreadsheet you're using. The whole goal of using this spreadsheet is that by importing in this one CSV that I'm gonna show you how to find in your Amazon dashboard, you're gonna save a bunch of time by using the built-in formulas to pull out all of these revenue numbers and fee numbers that you're gonna want for both your books and in order to do your taxes. So that is the overall goal here. We're gonna do one quick download and copy and paste to generate a bunch of numbers that we need so that we don't have to waste time or energy figuring it out for ourselves. So to download the CSE report that you need for your spreadsheet, you could just log into your Amazon seller account click reports up here in the top toolbar and just clicking reports itself you can go to date range reports and then click this generate report button select whatever month you want to download a previous month a whole month that's ended and you want to make sure that transaction the radio button next to transaction is selected not summary but transaction choose the month and then click generate it's, you're going to see this in progress uh, status next to the report you just requested. Um, you can just hit refresh and usually after a couple seconds, uh, it will be available to download. Click the download button and then it will download onto your hard drive and you can open it in whatever spreadsheet software you're working with. So after you download that CSV from Amazon, you're gonna open in whatever spreadsheet software you're using and it's gonna look something like this. You wanna make sure that it's showing up with all the data in multiple columns. And the Amazon CSV right now seems to be going from column A to column AA. So that's how you can make sure you've got the correct report at this time. The next thing you wanna do is copy all of this data. And the easiest way to do that is to hover your cursor over this little rectangle um, that is above the one and to the left of the A of your spreadsheet software. So see how my cursor actually changes to this little downward slanted black arrow when I hover over that? If I click on that box, it's gonna automatically highlight all the data in this spreadsheet for me. Once it's highlighted blue, you can copy it. So you can either right click copy, you can go to edit copy, you can do control or command C on your keyboard, just get it so it's copied. At this point, you can navigate back to your Amazon spreadsheet. Go to whatever tab you wanna import this into. It's gonna be blank at this point. So if that was January data, for example, I'd go to my January import tab, and then you want to make sure you're scrolled all the way to column A again. Select the same cell so your entire blank tab is selected, and then paste. And you can right click paste, you can control or command V, or of course you can edit paste. Once you've pasted it in, if you've pasted it in correctly, you should be able to go back to your monthly summary or your totals tabs and see information populated in whatever month you just did. So this looks good and doing that one copy and paste got me all this data for January. And a quick note for you, if you happen to be a Lucky Numbers user, I mentioned uh, that it was gonna be slightly different. They don't have that beautiful cell up here for you to highlight everything. So when you're doing your copy and paste, you just start by clicking one and dragging down to the bottom of your data, copying. You can't right click to copy, so just do Command C on your Mac, and then navigate over to your import tab select just the blank cell A1 and then paste, and that will work the same. So you just don't have that little special ta uh, 
box over here for you to click on, but you can still do the copy and paste pretty similarly, just looks a little bit different, but the end results are the same. So this simple download of the CSV and this copy and paste is what you can expect to do each month to import in your Amazon sales and fees. Let's talk briefly about what exactly these things are that are getting imported in from your CSVs so you can understand the differences and the meanings of all of these rows. So first we've got your Amazon sales. This is simply anything listed as a product sale and column in for anything that has a type of an order. So it's usually the actual price of your product that the customer paid for. It doesn't include any sales tax yet, does not include shipping, does not include gift wrap, rebates, before any fees, it is just the amount of, it's just the price of your product. Now, how about this sales tax stuff? So Amazon at this point in time is considered a marketplace and several states, at least half of the US at this point, require Amazon as a marketplace to collect what's called marketplace facilitator sales tax on your behalf. So these are the sales taxes that Amazon is automatically charging your customers in certain states, collecting for you and remitting over to that state on your behalf. You're never really seeing this money, you're never really receiving this money, um, so Amazon is reporting it in column O, product sales tax, with the description marketplace facilitator in column M. So anything with a marketplace facilitator designation in column M is going to actually be totaled up here as your marketplace facilitator sales tax collected. Amazon then reports out what they are remitting on your behalf over here in column V. Uh, and that is and that is what I'm totaling up here in row 26, what they are remitting or withholding on your behalf. And usually these two amounts should be the same. They cancel each other out. It's the money that they collect on your behalf and the money they pay out on your behalf. So I've got it down here because historically, Amazon has not been including those in your taxable revenue. However, if you are located in a state that doesn't require marketplace facilitator sales tax collection, but in which your Amazon shop does have a nexus for whatever reason, like maybe it's the state in which you are physically located and your state is not a marketplace state, then Amazon will collect tax on your behalf and actually pay it over to you. Then you may have your Amazon shop set up by you to collect sales tax to customers in those states and Amazon is going to collect that and send it over to you as part of your revenue. So if that applies to you, you will see those sales taxes included right here in your revenue section. That's because Amazon is paying that amount over to you. You're actually receiving it and you're responsible for taking that money collected and remitting it over to your state. If you have any questions about this, because I know it's kind of complicated, everything going on with sales taxes right now, I have a few links and resources where you can brush up on this topic in the PDF instructions for the spreadsheet. But just know that the marketplace facilitator sales taxes are gonna be reported down here, the net effect should really be zero, and anything that you are collecting from your customers that's not for a marketplace state is gonna show up here in line five. Next, we've got your Amazon refunds. So anything listed with a type of refund over here is going to show up in your refunds row. Shipping credits and gift wrap credits and promotional rebates, these are all things showing up in the shipping credits, which is what the customer pays you for shipping the gift wrap credit, and the promotional rebates columns. The last thing you might see are any FBA inventory adjustments. Now, based on the adjustment, this may end up being a positive or a negative number. It could increase or decrease your revenue. And I believe this only applies to sellers who are using Amazon FBA also. But it's anything showing up with the type adjustment in column C because these are FBA inventory adjustments. And that amount is going to get totaled up automatically for you here. Next, we've got various Amazon seller expenses. Now again, you may not have all of these every month, especially if you are not an FBA seller, but
but your seller fees are going to be anything in column W, the sum of your selling fees. That usually is Amazon's commission on all of your orders. That's what the seller fees are. Your FBA fees are going to be anything listed in this column X, this FBA fee column, and also anything listed as an FBA inventory storage fee right here. So just to clear up any confusion, your FBA inventory storage fees are gonna show up here as an expense. Your inventory adjustments are gonna show up in the revenue section though. Next, you've got your Amazon shipping services. That is the amount that you pay Amazon for shipping labels purchased through Amazon. And then finally, we've got Amazon advertising. I don't have any in this example, but it shows up as cost of advertising on that Amazon CSV. So if you ever pay for Amazon advertising, it will show up here. We've also got uh, the sum of your transfers. So anything listed as a transfer to your bank account on your CSV will show up here. This is just so you can keep track of your payments to yourself. And that is what is getting imported in here. You're also gonna see some stuff automatically populate on these two state sales tax tabs, but I'll talk about those in a separate video. The only other thing that I wanna mention when you are doing your monthly import each month is to verify that there aren't any other fees showing up on your CSV or on, or you can even look at your like Amazon dashboard report that sums everything up for the month. Make sure there's not any fees there that are not showing up here. Every now and then, it seems like Amazon likes to add new fees into their reporting and um, I've tried my best to incorporate every current type of fee based on the example sellers I've been working with on the spreadsheet, but it's always possible that there could be another type of fee specific to your business showing up on the CSV and you would want to make sure that gets entered in as a custom expense if it is not something that's automatically imported.